Okay, so this little turkey we've had here, he had an eye infection, I believe, and and then all of a sudden his head started swelling up, and we're like, what is that? And I thought it was like a blister, but apparently they have a breathing system that works different than ours. There are like two cycles in it, and if an uh, air sac ruptures, it sends the air up, up into, under the skin, like in the neck and up into the head, and that gives it that little balloon effect. And apparently, it's actually, I guess, not great for them or comfortable, but you just pop it and the air releases and they can breathe better. And they say that after a couple days, maybe their their uh, air sac heals and then they're, they can be fine. But we've been going on a few days here. And so um, I don't know if I keep rupturing stuff when I pick them up to do all this, but we're going to give it a go here to um, to show you like kind of what I did. So... And what I've been doing, so Sue's helping me here. She can take over. I got again. He does not like this. I know. Come on. Come on. <laughs> At least he can see me. Come on. Did you? Here we go. I know. All right. So last time I might. Come on. Don't wipe my finger. Come on. Really. Am I, am I freaking him out? Oh, I don't know. There we go. Yeah, this actually helps if he bites my finger. Okay. I can't. Your hand is in the way, but... <clears throat> it's, just a, it's just a big air sac. So it doesn't go whoosh when you do it? No, it just see, you can you tell can see, it's, it's deflating. Getting, yeah, it's deflating. But see, uh, you can I can push it up there. I can push the air up there. Yeah. See, he's got it in here. That is so weird. I know. He's really got it. It was fine this morning. It looked fine. Mm -hmm. And now it's. Does they say make a crackling sound? Guess I'll do this. Try and do his neck here. That's weird. Poor thing. Well, I don't know. So then I, uh, it's a lot better than it was. Take a little rubbing alcohol and try and... There's the holes I did. Get it in his eye. Okay, I know. I wonder if that biting is like comforting to him too. No, I, I kind of wonder. Well, I'm guessing if it's gonna have to hold until the next time. Okay, Hoss. I know. Here you go. I know. I don't know. I don't know what else to do. Just keep trying and keep deflating him, and hopefully you'll get better. Probably should have done his eye while I was at it. He's breathing better than he was in the beginning, right? It's supposed to relieve the some pressure or something, and yeah. All right, little dude. Pray God grants you healing and help and. Sorry, we got to go through that. All right. Yeah, thank the Lord. Pray God grant you healing, if you might. All right, this is some time later now, after that last video where we were working on him. And um, this has been, he's been this way for a couple of days now. Uh, there's no bubble on the top of his head. So we're, I'm thinking maybe the Lord is... Granted him some healing in his little air sac, or sacs, I don't know how many were messed up. But at least from that aspect, he seems to be doing a little bit better. 
He's still kind of cloggy when he breathes or says something, but um, anyway, we thank the Lord for granting that uh, bit of healing and help in this process and some direction as to maybe um, how to help his little head and the little uh, bubble bubble blister, air blister that uh, he was uh, having to suffer with. And now we're still working on his eye, though. It's the other side. Um, and we pray for continued guidance and help from God and maybe healing for his little eye so he can get back out to the flock. And we thank the Lord for uh, him granting some help in this situation. Cool. Yeah.